Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I want to tell you about SQL injections, which is a very common method hackers use to get information out of your database from your public facing website, which doesn't seem like it should be possible. But if you have the correct vulnerabilities, hackers can do this. So what exactly is SQL injection? Well, the hacker gains access to your site's database by inputting SQL commands into a submittable form. Now these forms, when they're submitted, they interact with your database, usually. Not always, but usually they do. And so when a hacker inputs SQL queries into the form, they then go to the database and they can return information to the hacker that they're requesting. So they can gain access to really all the data in your database and unless you have some really high-end monitoring on your website, you won't even know what's happening. And this often results from improper coding of the forms on your public-facing website. And often as a WordPress user, we don't have control over the coding of those forms. And I'm going to tell you in a second how to fix the SQL injection vulnerability. But first, I'm going to tell you a couple more examples of where this vulnerability can exist. So it can exist in the WordPress core files. Uh, the, the comment form is the most popular example. In fact, recently there was an XSS vulnerability in the WordPress core file comment form that was promptly fixed and a patch was released by WordPress and everybody needed to update the websites. And that's why it's really important to update your websites when updates become available because those releases are often released very quickly. And this, this vulnerability can be in themes and plugins and even in custom coded forms that you created or a developer created for you. Common examples, contact forms that submit to the database, not just send an email, but also submit to the database. Comment forms, surveys, any kind of input field with a submit button can be vulnerable. So what do we do? The number one thing to do is update your plugins, themes, and your WordPress core files as soon as updates become available. Now I know it can be a pain, but this is a very real threat and it's easy to avoid by making those updates. And usually if there is an SQL injection problem that's discovered, developers fix it right away. And updates can come hot and heavy uh, when, these, when these SQL injection vulnerabilities are found. So update your themes, update your files whenever updates become available. And that takes us to the number one biggest security threat that's facing all WordPress sites these days. And there's a lot of, a lot of security threats, but the number one biggest one is actually XSS. And I wanna give you a free tutorial where I show you exactly how to avoid getting hacked via XSS and all the steps you need to take in order to protect your site from falling victim to an XSS attack. And it's a free tutorial. All you have to do is click on, on the link below in the description or in the annotation on the video and just opt in and you will see this video instantly and you can have your site more protected within the next 20 minutes after watching this video. It's a 13 minute tutorial. So within the next 20 minutes, you can have a much more secure WordPress site. So go check out that tutorial right now. I hope this video about SQL injection helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share it, check out our social media feeds, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check out wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.